All right, so this is the real unboxing. The first video you saw was just me screwing around, making something for my salty haters. All right, so this is the box. It's a very small box. It's not like a huge box. However, the VR headset, it's pretty much similar to Oculus Rift in size. Uh, they're really, they're not that much different. Uh, maybe it's a little bit, a little bit wider. Uh, I would actually a little bit longer than the Oculus Rift. If you see, if you see right here, it's a little bit longer than the Oculus Rift, but it's pretty much the same. Okay. So what comes in inside the box? Everybody wants to know this. Like what comes in inside the box? Well, it's very simple. You have your remote control, which is right here. Very simple. It has the uh, the back button, the home button, and then here your directional touch button. So you have your directional touch buttons, left, right, up, and down. And then you got your back button and your home button. Here you have the power button that you click right here, that's your power button. And here you got the uh, volume up and down, up and down. And you also have a USB charging dongle cable, uh, USB-C, there it is right here. That goes in right here in uh, on the side. There it is right there. You plug it in right there on the side. And then you connect it to your uh, outlet and you're good to go. I think it takes about two hours to charge this thing completely. So that's the one thing, you know, uh, you can only use this for a couple of hours. And after that, the power uh, on the battery will be drained. So you can plug it in while you are charging it, but they don't recommend because it's a very small cable. See, this is not a, like a huge cable. So, you know, you don't want to do that. Uh, what I would recommend is you take a little break, you charge it, and then you come back again. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, it just comes with a charging cable, controller, and it also has this uh, little cushion that comes in to uh, so you can put it inside, in, inside the, uh, the headset if you're wearing... Uh, glasses i forgot what what they call that there's a nickname for that there's a name for that uh velcro whatever i don't know the name so sue me you know anyway it, what i call it is like a little rubbery cushion that rests your sinuses and your nose and your forehead when you put on your glasses so that way your glasses are not pushing in into your eye sockets okay uh, and other than that, there's nothing else. Now, one thing I will say, uh, putting these suckers on uh, was I felt they're a bit heavy. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, they're a bit heavy. This actually, believe it or not, the Oculus Rift, as you can see these lights, uh, the Oculus Rift, it's a bit lighter compared to this this is a bit heavier but there's a reason why this is heavier it has to be heavier because they need to cool this uh front here of the uh led panel lcd led panel that's inside they need to cool off that snap dragon uh chip that's inside all right and uh i understand that all the hardware it's inside i get it with the lens so it, there, there's a little bit of weight but I, it, to me, I, I don't think this was a good idea to go with these straps. They should have do this. They should have gone with the same thing as this. As a matter of fact, they should have made it exactly like Oculus Rift, except without the wires. Uh, this would have been nice if they did this, like with the Oculus Rift. They should have done that. I wish that they had done that. That would have been cool. But they didn't. This, it reminds me of HTC Vive when you hold it. So it's really, it feels heavy. It doesn't feel light. It's not like it's not comfortable, guys. So I don't know why everyone's saying that it feels light. It's not light. It does feel heavy uh, when you put it on your uh, on your uh, on your head. And these straps here are not really. Uh, they don't really help that much. 
So that's my comparison between the two. Uh, as you can see, they're really uh, not much of a difference. The only difference you will see is this one is a bit wider. The, uh, the Oculus Rift is a bit wider. This is a bit longer. So Oculus Go, it's a bit longer. And Oculus Rift, it's a bit wider. But they're pretty much... Uh, they they look alike pretty much so um i don't know um i have to spend some more time with the uh, oculus go to give you my official review this is just the uh what comes inside the box because my previous video was just me screwing around here i want to tell you exactly what's inside the box and uh you will need to go to your phone uh, whether it's the iPhone or the uh, Android, either one of the two will do it. Uh, you need to go to the uh, the store and download the Oculus app. Once you download the Oculus app, then you need to register, log in, and you will be good to go. Okay? So this is just me showing you a little comparison and what's inside the box. So that's it. Uh, so there's your charger right there. Yep, there you go. That's it. That's all I got for you right now. I will have an official review. I need to spend some time with this. And when I spend some time with it, then I'll tell you guys how I feel about the Oculus Go. That's about it. That's all I have for you guys right now. There you go.